What's up guys, this is Rixalite <clears throat> signing in and welcome back to more Dynasty Warriors. Now, we did do Dynasty Warriors 1 not too long ago. Well, I'd say not too long ago, but the um, thing happened with, what's the game called? We just finished up Resident Evil Revelations 2. Before that we did Martha is Dead. We do every new game, Resident Evil comes out. But now we're back to the normal stuff that we're going to be doing. Going away from the more non-horror aspects and more basic fighting, one-on-one -on -one fighting style games. Although, the first one was like that, but the second one's not. <clears throat> so, hopefully, we do have all the characters unlocked. I have cheated. Um, we're playing on normal. We're going to be playing until 20 minutes have passed, maybe. Um, we'll end the recording. I'll continue playing to unlock the next level. Possibly, hopefully, I can play someone else, but I don't know if that'll work or not. For truth. And honor. So let's see how well we do. I have just tried doing this. We're not going to care about the story elements of this. I just want to try and get a lot more maps so it's not going to be the same thing over and over again. However, if we do die, that'll be the end of the video. And that'll be good. But I know what to do. Thankfully. I have tried this a little bit. I failed. <laughs> but it's okay. Things happen, we can fix it. I died within 12 minutes, didn't know what to do at the beginning bit, but now I do, and it's okay. I just need to get there, essentially. Like I said, we don't care about the story, we're only here for the character itself. So we're going to be here for 28 days, maybe 5 weeks, 4 weeks? Five, ten, 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 ten. Just over 5 weeks. And then we can load up number 3 and at some point. Right, there's all the enemies, let's fucking go. This may be very repetitive and boring, but hopefully every character has something new to show. Like different Muzomo moves and stuff like that. We'll, uh, we'll soon see. So I know the first goal, what I have to do, is fight a general somewhere to open up a gate. Or I could just wait for someone to pop it open for me. I don't know if that'll be good enough or not. I don't know. I know how to use arrows, but I probably won't use them. Let me try and find the general to kick his butt and go for the main door. We've already lost some health already. This is how well things are going right about now, which is great. Okay, Shoujin fighting them? No? See, the thing is, it's not telling me on the map where they would be. I hate that, so I would not know. I can only guess where they are in cool coordination when my troops are fighting or running towards. So Bojang's inside. I kicked his ass. But then his lackeys were the one that took me out instead. Which is very interesting to say the least, but oh well. This is not me because this needs to be coming out two hours of this recording, but hopefully it'll be super easy to do. So I'm going to be doing outros for this one. If we die, it's just going to be saying game over and then we'll try and wrap it up on that screen as such, hopefully. So we can uh, hopefully we can get some answers and get some level ups as well. I think that might be important to do. I'm looking to where the armies are, see if that will help to negate to the, the general, I guess, if possible, I don't know. There's a few characters I'm looking forward to playing as, see how they've changed over the years. Or if they have at all. I know some weapons have changed since this, since this game. I know the game entirely changed completely from 1 to 2. Use like, when you go from into a sequel, something changes but not a lot. But compared to what we had before, of Dynasty Warriors, because originally number two was going to be another one-on-one -on -one fighting game, but they wanted to do something unique and different that no other game has come up with before. So they decided to do something like this now. Basic hack and slash game, it's called the Muzo game now, it's got some genre, but as far as I am aware, only the people who make Dynasty Warriors, like Koei and now Koei Tecmo, are the only ones that can do it. Or Warrior Force, whatever it's called. They are the only ones that I know to actually able to do this. Like Fire Emblem Warriors was made by Koei Tecmo. 
Um, Hyrule Warrior is one of my favorite Muzo games. That was also very techno, so. I don't know if there's going to be any more. I don't know if like they did something similar with um, with Final Fantasy, but I don't like they didn't have the like it doesn't have the same feel as a Muzo game. So they didn't, so they haven't like established on it too much. So this is what I liked about the old games. Like you could just go in capture bases, or you don't got to. You don't have to capture bases in this game. It's just like fight generals, take over. And then just go to the big victory, but again, I cannot make any more pro more progress until my leader or little general of this area. Unless it's actually like a past time when things open up, which makes more sense because I believe the general is inside the uh, the castle or the grounds at this point. So usually it's six minutes when it kicked in, where the gate opens up, which is quite. Stupid. Oh, here we are. Yang Zheng is who we have to defeat. Okay, I see. My original method was right, just trying to find the general to open the door. Or is he, is he a general? Or is, would he be a lieutenant? Considering the general would be Bo Zhang, right? I have got my bodyguards, he's like the bodyguard for them. Interesting, okay. We'll see, we'll soon see. I don't think I can lock on in this game, and the like camera angle does not want to work with me. Right, can we get rid of him now? There we go. Right, that should open the door then. Or the gate, at least. Should be yes. Let's go inside. <clears throat> Take on the next general. Interesting stuff. I'm okay. Frequent pauses may be done throughout this series because I could get very bored doing this every day. Especially when there's a freaking High Warriors video coming out on the weekend too. At least once. So it's it's been it's gonna be a nice little fair. Saying that though, I am getting fucking destroyed right about now in the little group of these fuckers. Which is also why I want to play on hard, on normal. Playing harder would be dead by now. But this is not looking good at all for me. So I refuse to take, I'll take dumplings or whatever they are, the rice cakes, when I'm in yellow health or in red, but I won't take them when in green. So if they drop, I'll take them like this just to keep it going a little bit longer. I'm not going to like run and grab one somewhere. If they drop, I'll pick it and leave it. Okay, 100 down, good. That was going to be originally my first take. Hey, we've got 200 people, just continue, you know? But now I'm like, want to go further. Just really want to go much, much further into this. How long can I take? Or how long will I live for without dying? I don't have no fairies or anything like that to help me get my health back up after the fight. Just have to use whatever's on the battlefield at that time. So here's hoping that we can live a long and happy life. Maybe, question mark. I don't know. Can we jump in this game? We can jump in this game. So that might be Muzo mode itself. It used to be, so let's... Is it? Nope, nope, not anymore. Well, I wouldn't say anymore, but... Better would be not yet. Then? Aerial Muzos are pretty powerful sometimes. Alright, need reinforcements. They were the lackeys. Try not to get caught too much in their riff raff. If we do, then it will be definitely game over. We don't want game over just yet. Uh, so apparently, the general is behind me somewhere. Huh? Wouldn't mind going to him. Is this rage mode? Usually the rage mode, but I don't think rage mode is being put into it. Or <coughs> the rage moves though. I just know that when you're on red health, your Muzo gauge goes up faster. Okay, there's Bojang. Where's he? Where is he? Off his horse. Okay, let's see how well we can do with this one, shall we? Probably not well. <clears throat> like, at all. Like I said, I'm, I have, I'm doing worse on this playthrough just because I'm fighting more. I know where to go a bit better. 
Like, beginners looking at that shit is very truthful a lot of the time. I am surprised I'm still alive, to be fair. No dumplings have been dropped, but if Bojang wants to drop one for me, on my little tiny remaining health, I would much appreciate it. Okay, Bojang has gone. Okay, give me a tack up. Okay. I could very well kick the bucket any second. But they've opened that gate. Oh, that's my gate opening. Probably get deeper into it, right? <clears throat> probably. Hey, I've got a health though. It's good. We'll live to tell the tale a little bit more. Which isn't bad at all. Right, so the gate is here. Well, this would have been the lightning gate. Okay. So Zhang Men Cheng is the next one. Is the next one. Okay. It's alright. We're doing better than last time because I'm actually going forward in here. I just hopefully I don't get destroyed by, them, by their friends. <clears throat> and we can only hope for the best. Unless death happens too much, I might switch to easy and hope for the the actual absolute best and just play through the game. But like I said, if I survive the 20 minute playthrough, I'm hoping like I'm aiming to play four. I can go on and go for the victory, which would in question not the next map. But Cinderin will play with greens anyway. Maybe just the same level, the yellow turban fight, and I'm going to be very bored if it is. I do apologize if that is the case, but I'll try and get some levels in in this bad time. Just to uh, keep it fresh, keep it fleshed out, you know? But again, if we keep on failing, then it's just more reason to play, because so I'm bound to come across somebody who can all be able to do it with. And that one will be the saving grace. Well, double dumpling, full health, right? No, nope, just more green. Okay. I will, like I said, I will see. I'll grab them if I see them. All right. Now this is where we can actually start pushing closer into them enemy territory. We should only push this to where we need to be right for the next eight minutes. If 16 is the average to get through a level, well, it was for Hyrule. We we could be as safe to su assume that this works on the same promise, or the same premise. Because obviously they made the same game, but again, the company can change over the years. I would say they've only done nine dinosaurs, but they haven't. They've done the main games, the Empire games, a lot of majorly unlocked very variants of the game, like Extreme Legends, for example. So they've been here quite a while. 200 is a nice even number, but not a mint. There's just so much going off. So, okay, so apparently, Ayo Yun has fought, started the battle with the next general. I guess we've got to go, go towards him then, right? So we find out. <clears throat> if there's a gate lock, then we'll have to go find him. Unless I can just take out the gate guardian, maybe. Or the gate captain, whatever his name is. Hopefully that will help. We don't know, do we, though, really? I know so much. Can you fucking not right now, please? It's hard because I can't dodge. Or block. I don't think block's been implemented into the game yet. I mean, it was in the first game, so I'm assuming there's a button I can press to block. But I'm not too sure. I thought always circle is the like the block button, but it's just yeah, reading the world of something. No. Saying that though, when I never, when I've never played these kind of games, I never used to block anyway. Like when you look at me play Hyrule Warriors, I don't block. I just roll around everywhere or sprint just to avoid death. So that's how that game. Yeah, that's good. Use those four, which is also good. Need more experience. So I'm going to take out these lackeys. Oh, come on, douchebag. Alright. <clears throat> okay, so I can. Oop, I am on yellow. I'll grab that. Lovely stuff. Okay, can we go down this little path down here then? This is a nice little. The pathway. Let's see if it's gonna 
either A, lead me to death, or B, lead me to the victory of this level. Which would be good. Hopefully I can play as the next character in the next... Or another character in the next level. As long as it's still part of green. I guess. Oh wow, they've only just broke that gate, and I'm going towards the general of that. The right about now. So bizarre. But again, death could happen any moment. My dude's somewhere in here. Oh, there he is. I'm not dead yet, guy. Still fighting strong. It's a little bit shame that you're not playing with, like... The game would intend, like, every character has their own story element. Like, they might do, you know, like when you play Xiao Hu Dun, he does die. And somehow he eats his own eyeball, which makes no fucking sense to me, but sure. Whereas, where's the, where's the dude supposed to be kicking the ass? Is he ran away? No, he's still here. <clears throat> Again, I could still die. I don't know. I can accidentally pick up life recovery, which is quite nice. And that's he, he, he done. Nice. Okay. We can go closer or further in now. Hopefully some troops run away so we can just leave them on their own. Unless that's the thing for number three, what happened? Like, when the enemy's dead, they retreat. So I don't have to worry too much about killing the cannon fodder. I don't know. Wrong way. I'd hope to go the right way though, wouldn't it? Okay. There's a lot of enemies coming up down here. I mean, there is a few. Let's see what I do. Wow. I've been quite a while game. A while ago, game. I'm ahead of you on this one. So I've always liked about this. <clears throat> I like to like move. It makes me feel accomplished that I'm moving faster than the game can comprehend all the like the uh, bulletin boats or things. There we go. That's you down for down. Okay, that's you down. Anyone else trying to try and stop me from growing to the leader of you yellow turbans? Well, there's a little army of them, so I doubt... I can't remember his name. Kind of like Pong Tang, but not Pong Tang. Good one. Jean Jay, maybe? I don't think that rings a bell. I don't know. All these do have very foreign names to me. I know how to pronounce some words, but not all of them. Which kind of sucks. I just wish I wasn't getting my ass fucking handed to me though right about now. Alright, that's good, that's good, that's good. More people in sight. <clears throat> We're slowly getting there. I would be wrapping up right about now. Which I still feel like could be the thing. Like 20 minutes like seems like a nice marker to end on. To be fair, so we've seen the all the extent of of Zhao Yu, Zhao Yun. And I'll play this in my spare time. See so yeah, how the rest of that map section sorted out. There we go. Also if someone could tell me what the fuck I'm saying when I'm half asleep, that'd be absolutely much appreciated. Always do it, and half the time I don't even know what I'm saying. Like right now, I am a bit sleepy. I'm pretty sure I've said some things that don't make sense. And I know my voice is like not even making me feel entertained right now. But shit happens. Okay. Can we go down a fork in the road? Don't gotta go up and down that way. Okay. Do I though? By looks of it, yeah. Okay, I can't go that way. Wait, is this like a dead end? According to this, it isn't. Oh, okay, I thought it was a little loop in the road, like a... But it's not, it's like a little turnaround point. Okay. I got you now, I got you. It makes sense, it makes sense in my head. Yes, I see now, I've got to go up to go around. Which doesn't make sense. Hope I can live a little bit longer to not die. Or maybe get catch the death on screen. There's quite a few of them ganging up on me. Any attack from these boys could literally end me in a second. 
No, not any attack, because... Combos, yes. Any combo could literally tear me out. At any time. We'll just pray for the best. Okay, I'm going to have to Zhuge Leon. Okay, so the bodyguard's dead in battle. He lasted long, didn't he? Well, I last. Well, I am lasting longer, obviously. But how long will this one last? Will he either die before me, or will he die after? Because the weird thing is, like, in the future Dinosaur Wars games, there's bases to acquire, which I find very strange in this one because they're not in it. I still just can't get the fact that the first Dinosaur Wars game was a one-on-one -on -one fighting game. That just baffles my brain. It's not a thing I want to even think of anymore. Eggs it was shit. I, I thought the game was absolutely dog doo doo. Really tough, really hard. Didn't flow well sometimes like you wanted it to. Which was very irritating. Oh well. I'm only staying on for a little bit longer because I know my health's like depleted at the moment. Like a few more kicks and I'm dead. If it, the AI wants to think smart and take me out now, by all means, do it, game. I dare you. You won't. No balls. And to the next game, tactic, which is good, I guess. I need to go around this crate again, don't want to. Oh, there it goes. Nearly lost it. I'm on an inch of health, and ah, oh, there she blows. Okay, that's fine. Zhang Liang took me out. Well, there we go, though. No outro, like I've said. This is like a little quick recap of where I died and what happened. So while this is playing on, which is a nice little outro sequence, very nice. Either way, though, that is all there is going to be for today with this video of Dinosaur Warriors 2. We shall return tomorrow with Guan Yu. Let's see if another stick user can get further. Might be the same level, might not be. We'll, we'll soon see. But, um... Well, we'll soon say. Yeah, yeah. Might go a different path as well. Like, you might start in a different area. Which would be cool. Then it can, like, go through the gate, take out the enemy, like, go up the left path instead. Like, different route to take. Different... Different things, you know? Just change things around. But either way, though, that is all there is going to be for today. And I'm going to leave you with my death on screen while we fade to, like, all the outro bits going off. But as for now, though, this is Bricks of Light signing out.